The history of, of Irish research is one that is uh, at times uh, linked to our nearest neighbour. But the Dublin Institute was one that allowed Ireland to emerge as a leading international research institute in its own right. We have populated that with both Irish people and with internationally renowned people. It has been an exemplar of the way that institutes deal with other institutes around the world. It puts Dublin, it puts the institute at the very heart of international research. We use physics to understand the, unit, the whole universe, how it works. We don't do laboratory experiments, but we use the universe, the cosmos, as our laboratory. So we both look downwards to work out in geophysics what's happening under the Earth, and we look up to see what's happening in the furthest reaches of the universe. To some extent, the job of an institute for advanced studies is to be a sort of expeditionary force going out and probing at the boundaries of what is known. It's not our job to do sort of routine research. We're quite clearly mandated in the act to do the cutting edge stuff. And that of course means that it's a relatively small and specialized group of individuals doing quite uh, unique things. The type of work we do is done in big international collaborations and we are members of several of the leading collaborations in the world at the moment. We're members of the European HESS Consortium, which does imaging atmospheric Cherenkov astronomy in Namibia. We're members of the Japanese Astro-H mission, which will be launching a major X-ray satellite in the near future. Uh, we're members of the Kilometer Cube Net Consortium, looking to construct a deep underwater neutrino telescope in the Mediterranean. And we're members of the MIRI Consortium building an instrument for the Next Generation Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope. And all of these things are major international consortia. The type of science we do could not be done without these international collaborations. And I would like to think that one of the functions of the Institute is actually to act as an ambassador for Irish science and project basically the fact that we are doing world-class research on the world stage. So, I mean, we wouldn't be doing our job if we weren't in these international collaborations, in my view. So in astronomy and astrophysics, what we're doing is considering the birth and the death of stars. So really two extremes. Today, we're involved with a number of missions. For example, um, the James Webb Space Telescope that will actually replace Hubble. Hubble is not going to last much longer. Astronomy, I suppose, in many people's eyes, is very much blue skies type of research. But that's not actually true. For example, we're looking for very faint galaxies. That's very difficult. But the same software is now used for uh, looking for uh, breast cancer at a very, very early stage. And who would have thought of that? world-class telescopes to look at very distant clouds of gas and dust where young stars are just beginning to shine. Um, for example, the, the very famous photograph called the Pillars of Creation is a photograph taken with the Hubble Space Telescope and it shows very high um, columns of gas in which young stars are just beginning to emerge and be born. And we are looking um, at the process of the star formation to try and understand what's going on. And it transpires to be a very violent process in which jets are actually propelled from these young stars at very high velocities. And we're looking at these jets with world-class telescopes to try to understand what these jets are doing. The benefit of this research to Ireland is that it really brings Ireland centre stage in international research, raises Ireland's profile and attracts very top quality scientists to Ireland to work in these research institutes with other collaborators in Ireland. There are three uh, major international projects in which you are involved. The first one is the HES high energy telescopic system of gamma ray telescopes located in Namibia. HES is now recognized one of the best 10 astronomical telescopes in the world. And the second one is the project is called Kilometer Cube Net. It is a project uh, for detection of neutrinos 
and that is one of the major uh, projects in Europe for astroparticle physics. Uh, third one is a project in X-ray astronomy called AstroH. This is a Japanese uh, satellite and the project is uh, funded by Japanese and American NASA and AstroH will be one of the major developments in X-ray astronomy over the next 10 years. It is a, a difficult time uh, in Ireland's history, but no more difficult than it was when this institute first came into being. And we hope that over the next few years, the institute will help in bringing forward new ideas, uh, new research, which will again continue to put Ireland at the very forefront of research.